Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on finding tangent line. We're given a curve and we need to find all the points on the curve such that slope of the tangent line is 2. So basically they're asking to find derivative of f of x. This is relatively easy. It's 3x squared minus 4x. I think there's x in here. So it's plus 3 here. Okay. Now once we find the derivative next thing to do is to set it equal to 2. So basically, we're solving a quadratic equation here, minus 3 uh, plus 3 equal to 2. Let's move this one around so we have plus 1 equal to 0. Now, this factoring is a little more difficult in that the coefficient here is not 1. So over the years, so I teach students this trick. What you do is you multiply those two coefficients and you factor a fake one that's a lot easier to factor. And then after you factor this one, when you come out of this box, you change this x back into what you need, which is 3. x squared minus 1, 3x minus 3. Obviously, 3x times 3x is not a 3x squared. So we're going to divide it by 3 to normalize it. Simplify a little bit. We see the factoring here is 3x minus 1. Um, x minus 1 equal to 0. So I have 3x minus 1 equal to 0, which gives me x equal to 1 third. It's one of them. x minus 1 equal to 0, which gives me x equal to 1. Okay. Once I find those two um, values for x, what I can do then is go back, substitute back in there. x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x. So what you do is you evaluate. So f of 1 is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 3. So I have, uh, let's make sure, 1 minus 2 plus 3. So I have a minus 1 minus 2 here. So the point is 1 minus 2. And that's one point. So for the second point, I have f of 1 third. This is a little tedious. Third cube minus 2, 1 third is squared plus 3 times one third. This is one over twenty seven minus this is one over eight. So one over four plus one. Okay, so um, I don't have a calculator here. Let's put x equal to one third and it's one over twenty seven minus one fourth plus one. Whatever this number happened to be. Um, on the test I usually have students convert it to decimals. All right. Hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me. Together, we can conquer math. Till next time, have a confident day.